Black holes are quite interesting. They vary a lot in size, yet despite the variation in size, all sizes of black holes will destroy anything that comes in their path. But in order to understand how they can destroy virtually anything, we first have to look at the anatomy of a black hole. Surrounding the black hole is the photon sphere or an area where light orbits the black hole. If you were in the photon sphere, you'd see the back of your own head. Next we have the outer event horizon. This part of the black hole does not have as strong of a gravitational pull. As a result, you could still escape from here. The next layer is the event horizon. This part of the black hole has such strong gravitational pull, nothing can escape from it. And the dot you see is a singularity. The singularity is the main part of the black hole and is found at the center. So that's the brief anatomy of a black hole. Obviously there are more parts to a black hole, but those are like the main parts of a black hole. Now let's take a look at how black holes form. When a large star stops undergoing nuclear fusion in its core, the pressure from the star's outer layers begin to compress the star's mass into an area tinier than an atom called the Schwarzschild radius. At this point, the star is so dense that its gravitational pull's escape velocity is the speed of light, thus making it a black hole. However, it's not just supermassive stars that can become a black hole. In fact, anything that you see, including you, can become a black hole. But how? Well, every object has something called a Schwarzschild radius, or basically a small space where, if all their matter gets compressed into that small space, they become a black hole. But you guys don't have to worry, because the chances of that happening to you or any random object surrounding you is very small, unless the object surrounding you is a giant supermassive star. Now I understand there are plenty of things to talk about when it comes to a black hole. However, the point of this video was to teach you the extremely basic anatomy of a black hole's structure, function, and how it basically forms. But fear not, because you guys can expect more upcoming videos on black holes talking about stuff like Hawking radiation, time warping, and all that cool stuff. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos on black holes and other fascinating areas of science.